Hey y'all, what's good? It's your boy here, Chris Troyer, and welcome back to another game review. Today we're going to be reviewing Cuphead The Delicious Last Course, aka the Cuphead DLC, which just got released yesterday that was like super anticipated and highly awaited. Us Cuphead fans have been waiting for like three to four years for this game, and we're all super hyped to play it, and we're all enjoying it like so much right now, you know what I mean? So today I'm going to be reviewing it, showing you guys my thoughts on it so far. I've pretty much already beat every single boss in the DLC. I'm just sort of kind of like trying to do a high score run, you know what I mean? I actually completed the Cuphead game to uh 200 if you guys didn't know so i'm probably going to try and doing the same thing with the dlc level is going to like 100 or 200 it depending on what the score countings on the dlc is i don't know but that, that's for another time you know what i'm saying so um the dlc overall is just amazing you know nine out of ten the soundtrack is on point as usual the animation is on point as usual the gameplay is super just hellishly grueling and difficult as per usual you know what i'm saying the difficulty is definitely not something that I would personally complain about as with most Cuphead fans because like in the studio Moldenhauer they worked super hard to animate and draw this game everything is like hand drawn it's, it's it must have been super difficult you can tell by the extreme quality that it was an extreme challenge to make this type of stuff you know what I'm saying this type of animation it is not easy so you know overall the animation is very beautiful we can all agree on that the gameplay fun but challenging the soundtrack beautiful and amazing the character design the story very well made by everyone all the writers all the composers you know I'm saying the game is almost flawless but one thing that just sort of kind of doesn't make the DLC like just one like tiny thing just a, a small thorn in the side of the DLC you know what I'm saying and that's Miss Chalice you know she was a new character that was announced along with the DLC you know what I'm saying and when I saw her the fact that she has a double jump I was like super excited you know what I'm saying and she's pretty good you know what I mean like she has like one super useful super move you know where you like call a bunch of ghosts and stuff it's a super powerful attack and stuff like that I haven't used her other two supers because they don't really seem like they're that useful you know what i'm saying i'll probably take a screenshot and show you what the supers are you know what i'm saying but they just don't really seem all that useful to me to be completely honest you know what i'm saying and um another thing the physics of her gameplay are overall like gravity has more of an effect on her than on cuphead and mugman you know what i'm saying so that's something that i don't really appreciate that much i feel like her base jump is like way shorter i mean she has a double jump so obviously they would have to like nerf her you know what i'm saying but like the fact that she has more of a gravitational pull for when she lands it just sort of kind of ruins the flow of the gameplay for me you know what i'm saying and another thing is her parry dash like she has this parry move like usually with cuphead or meb man you would just like double press a in order to parry but with her you have to like dash forward in order to parry stuff you know what i'm saying which is not necessarily that much of a good thing because you can't you have to only dash forward you can't really dash diagonally or in any other direction other than just like left or right you know what i'm saying she also has the invincible roll which is pretty good i guess but overall she's just just really not that useful for a lot of the bosses in um the dlc maybe for like some old level enemies but for the dlc bosses you know she doesn't have that much use you know what i'm saying just playing as her doesn't really flow well against the bosses that are you know in the dlc so you know i would rate the dlc a 10 out of 10 right off the bat if it weren't for miss chalice and her you know her kinks and her flaws you know what i'm saying they're, they may be minor but they're sort of kind of significant especially considering like the combat flow of the game overall in and of itself you know what i'm saying but her aside, the game is perfect, it's beautiful, it's amazing, it's challenging. If you guys want to like buy the game, you know, it's out now, like they even have the bundle for like uh, like about $26 or so, you know, for the game and the DLC. So, you know, I highly recommend you check it out. The game is amazing, it's beautiful, you know, and hey, maybe you guys' opinion might change on Miss Chalice. It might be different from mine. Buy the game, play as her yourself, and you know, maybe come back here, tell me in the comments what you think of her, you know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, that'll conclude today's game review. Thank you guys for tuning in in you know be sure to leave a like subscribe tell me what other games i should review in the comments i'll see y'all in the next video and peace out